The toothbrush must be used with caution. If your brushing technique is too energetic, if you apply undue pressure while brushing, or if the bristles of your toothbrush are too rigid, irreversible damage can be done to the supporting tissues of the gum. There are two types of gum. The attached gingiva, that is firmly attached to the tooth and the bone, and the alveolar mucosa, that is a looser tissue allowing the movement of the lips and cheeks. These two types of gum must be present opposite each tooth. The loss of attached gingiva is called a recession. Other factors can cause recession, such as a faulty position of the teeth or an innate lack of attached gum. If a brushing frequency of three times a day is followed, there is a risk of wearing down of gum if the right brushing procedure is not used. As a preventive measure, your dental hygienist will recommend using a brush with soft bristles and a brushing technique that should never include backward and forward motions on the lateral surfaces of the teeth. If, already, during your periodic examination by your dentist, recession has been detected, a few solutions are available. In the first place, a recession that is just beginning and has not yet destroyed all the attached gum can be kept under observation. Precise measurements of the afflicted area will be noted down in the patient's file upon each examination. This procedure allows the dentist to maintain a stability of the situation. A tooth needs a minimum of supporting tissue. An assaulted solidity brings on mobility and, consequently, the eventual loss of the tooth. In cases of marked recession, a soft tissue graft is suggested to protect the bone under the gum. The graft is performed under local anesthesia. One of the techniques used entails taking a sample of tissue from the palate, called the graft, which will be used to solidify the remaining tissues. The intervention consists of removing the graft from the palate and affixing it to the gum by means of stitches. On the days following the intervention, the treated area may be uncomfortable. This period is thankfully of short duration, and your dentist can prescribe an analgesic whenever needed.